Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share another hyper aggressive attacking game played by Alpha Zero against Stockfish 8. Without further ado, let's go for it and see what happened on the board. Alpha Zero opened up with knight f3 and knight f6 by Stockfish 8, c4, e6, knight c3, d5, d4, c6. We have the semi slav defense, bishop g5, white is first activating his bishop, is pinning the knight and then will go for e3. In here the sharpest line is to take c4, which leads to very double-edged positions, but Stockfish proceeded with bishop e7, e3, h6, bishop f4, like castles kingside, queen c2, knight d7, and believe it or not, but in this position alpha 0 went for g4. This intelligent creature wants to organize a quick attack and demolish black king as soon as possible. D takes c4, of course capturing on g4 is not a good idea because this will allow white to open up the g file without much effort, after which white can play h3 and then capture on h6 and black is in trouble, that's why after g4 we have d takes c4, rook g1, the rook is coming to support the g pawn, knight d5 and g5, and believe it or not, but after knight takes f4, instead of recapturing, alpha 0 captured on h6. Yes, guys, this is move 12 and already we are witnessing the first piece sacrifice. Knight h5, but now let's see where is white's compensation. h takes g7. Look at this daring pawn reaching from the second rank to the seventh just in a few seconds. Knight takes g7, white castles, queen side. Queen a5, bishop takes c4, queen f5. Black is offering an exchange of queens, but of course white is rejecting, white is a piece down and black is moving back his queen on h7 in order to support his knight. Rook g3, now white will also double up his rooks on the g-file, meanwhile black is moving away his king from the dangerous g-file and is unpinning the knight. We have knight f5, black knight is attacking the rook on g3, but in here alpha 0 came up with another brutal id and played queen f1, is allowing knight takes g3, knight takes g3 is on the board, rook takes g3, and now this time it's alpha 0 who has created a threat. The threat is rook h3, rook g8, rook h3, rook g7, and we have it. Rook takes h7, black is losing his queen. But if we have a look at the position, black has two rooks against a queen, materially equal, although white has an extra pawn. Yes, white has an extra pawn, a powerful passed pawn on the h file. Bishop d3, rook g7, queen d1. Instead of queen d1, when analyzing this game with Stockfish 10, Stockfish 10 was suggesting to make use of this h pawn straight away by pushing it forward, but now you will see that alpha 0 goes for long maneuvers. First, alpha 0 is starting to consolidate his position. Now we'll bring his king on a safer square and meanwhile Black is strengthening his king's side. b5, bishop c2, b4, a4, white is first locking up the queen side and king a2, king g8. Meanwhile Black is making waiting moves and now let's see how is white going to make his position better. Another waiting move by black, queen c2, white is coming after this weakness, knight g4, and we have it, knight takes c6, bishop takes c6, queen takes c6, rook h7, queen c7, bishop d8, queen f4, rook g8, bishop d1, and knight f6. Of course, capturing on h2 is not a good idea, because white can respond with knight h5, and there are some very dangerous threats. That's why in our game after bishop d1 we have knight f6. h4, finally white is starting to push forward his h pawn in order to create problems for black. Knight f6, meanwhile black is making waiting moves with his knight d5 and rook e8. Well, if a move like e takes d5, then after e takes d5, knight takes d5, 
White can announce a check from d4 and then can play knight f5 and actually it's very difficult to find a good continuation for black. Black is like in Tsuk Savang. That's why in our game we have rook e8 but now comes d6 and this time the passed pawn on the 6th rank is becoming very dangerous. Another pawn is marching forward rook h7 and this time e5. Knight d5, queen d2, rook g8, bishop b3. Bishop g5, queen d1, knight b6, and believe it or not, but after knight e4, finally Stockfish 8 resigned. This is move 52, and we have a resignation. Of course, as for me, I would have liked to see a more clear image of the victory, but in here we have a resignation. Although, let's have a look one of the possible lines how white can finish up black. For example, if bishop d8, then white can play queen c1, and then after knight d7 can first strengthen the pawn on e5, allow black to capture on h6 and then penetrate black's camp. If knight f8, then queen e8, and after winning the pawn on f7, soon black will also lose this pawn on e6 and these powerful white monsters will easily finish up black. That's why after knight e4 we have a resignation. Yes guys, this artificial intelligence is just a monster, is sacrificing his pieces just in the opening and Stockfish 8 is not even managing to fight back and Alpha Zero is simply finishing up his opponent. Of course, from a human perspective, those sacrifices are very risky and complex. In our days, of course, at a top level, you won't see typical sacrifices. After sacrificing those pieces, of course, realizing the advantage is extremely difficult, but we have Alpha Zero, which is a monster. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game. For more games consider subscribing to my channel, also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in the next video. Good luck!